Y'all, I was, I was wrong. I was dead wrong. I could not have been more wrong. Why, why was I forsaken? What did I do? <sighs> What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. And I hinted at it. I was overwhelmingly wrong. I could not have been more wrong. And I have seen the error of my ways. I have been using this Galaxy Fold 1, not 2 or anything fancy like that. This Galaxy Fold, thanks to my friend Jason, Tuna Tech, so check out his channel below, for a little over a week. And yeah, I thought foldables were a gimmick before, but this guy right here has completely sold on me. And we'll talk about this guy and then some of the things that I could see with the new Galaxy Fold Z Flip 2 or whatever the heck the new Fold 2 is going to be called because, boy, this Fold 1 is incredible. I had Michael Fisher on my live show a while back and talked about the foldables. He has been all about the foldables and I'm going to tag him here. Go check out his channel too because I blame him for this in a good way because now that I've had this device for this week, I completely understand why foldables really are potentially part of the future because it really changed the way that I used a phone. So in the Galaxy Fold 1, now that I wanted to play games, like I'm not much of a mobile game or anything like this, my kids play Roblox like everybody else's kid I feel like does, and I actually downloaded it and have been playing with the kids using this device and you can see on screen right now i actually started to play a golf game as well while it wasn't difficult or anything like that to play that game on any other device it was just a great experience with the fold one also consuming youtube videos or live tv i watched uh, the pga tours rocket mortgage classic from last weekend as well and I, I watched it on this yes i have a big tv at home and i could watch that but I have the ability to put this thing in my pocket and have a 6.8, almost seven inch display in my pocket that really doesn't fit like that until you start to unfold it in your hand. So yeah, the way I consume media on this is so much better. It has plenty of horsepower, tons of RAM, tons of storage, like 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage in terms of this. So I never had to worry about a performance perspective because this thing was a champ. Um, it, it, it also is fairly heavy, so while the inside screen is definitely fragile uh, on the outside, I didn't feel like I was worried at all about the fragility of this particular device, and that includes the display that's on the front part of this. While not very large, it's still a Samsung display, so it looks great. Uh, it's nice, bright, vibrant. Again, not very big, you can still type on it, but the whole experience is when you open it up and yeah, it's it's freaking amazing. So the performance is great. The battery life is pretty great too, again, with all the gaming. And it should be great because it has over 4,000 milliamp hours in terms of the battery life in this thing. Fingerprint scanner on the side. Again, all the bells and whistles. And I would expect that because it is a $2,000 device. And that gets me to kind of the what I would expect or make better on the Fold 2. Now this is the first time I can say in more than or really close to a decade that I've been excited about a Samsung mobile phone. And that's simply because of how excited I am and how much I love using the Fold 1. Now with the Fold 2, there's some things that I would like to see and the rumors are the fact that they are gonna make this better. And the first one is that front screen. I would love more real estate on that front screen. That way I could type more on the front if I wanted to. Um, you can still type, but I have really fat thumbs like sausage fingers. And so typing on the small keyboard, while it's possible, wasn't a great experience. But again, that's not the purpose of this particular phone. Again, huge bezels, huge chin on the first one. I would really like to take advantage of more real estate this way uh, when it comes to the Fold 2. The second thing would be the inner screen's notch. So you probably can see it on some of these shots right here. If not, you know exactly what I'm referring to. When you fold it open and you look in the upper right hand corner, it's where the two cameras and a lot of the sensors are is I would love to see them have more of a either a teardrop or the dot that's kind of in the upper left hand corner that some people are saying are on the 4A. So where you don't have to have this huge notch up there uh, taking out against some of the things that you see on screen. Third thing that I would love to see is the S20 Plus, not the Ultra, the S20 Plus cameras. The S20 Plus takes incredible photos. 
if you could take those camera sensors and all of that hardware and shove it into the Fold 2, that would be a behemoth in terms of photography and videography. Not to say that the Galaxy Fold 1 is a slouch, I just really love the S20 Plus photos and videos that they have there, definitely more than the Ultra. So that would be a huge step up uh, for something like the Foldable 2 and something that I would really, really expect to see based on the price alone. Fourth thing I would love to see is the same strong hinge that you have from protecting the hinge on the outside on the Foldable 1. Again, maybe even making some advancements in that hinge technology to make sure that when you're putting it in and out of your pocket a lot, you don't have to worry at all about getting dust and debris in the, like, the inner linings of the screen or anything like that. So definitely using the same one and the strong magnets from before, uh, but also maybe a little bit more advancement to make sure that my constant open and close and open and close and open and close, I don't have to worry about the debris getting in there. And then lastly, number five, if I'm going to pay what the rumored amount of $2,000 or more for this particular phone, you're gonna have to shove as much RAM and as much storage as possible inside the Fold Z2 Flip or whatever they're gonna call it. Yeah, it comes with 12 gigs of RAM and 512 right now, at least the one that I'm using, but you have to have that at a minimum, if not more, if that's possible. You're gonna have to keep the upper tier of your chipset, your RAM, your storage, all of that, if you're gonna expect me to pay $2,000. I can work off of this device. There is a lot of things that I can do on this device. It could replace easily, a tab like I'm not a tablet guy, it would definitely replace a tablet for me if I didn't have like an iPad or something like that. Um, tablet and phone, therefore you're kind of justifying the price perspective because man, I really freaking love the Fold 1. So yeah, I love the Fold 1, excited about the Fold 2 for like the first time in a decade on a Samsung product. And those are my expectations when it comes to the Fold 2. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below. We'll see you next time. <music>